Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, and this is my first ever playthrough of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. We finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. So yeah, um, the one thing that we had, <laughs> just gone. Um, well, I suppose like we still have each other. That's good, right? We still have Tagami. We were given hope, and then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like what the Mastermind is doing to us. Then could it really be true whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the Mastermind? If that's true... No, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I'd yelled out loud. The scary thing is, isn't the idea of someone spying us on us. What's really scary is, is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Yep. Damn it. I threw myself into bed trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. I think one of the funniest things about Monokuma Theater, right, like, uh, I feel like, you know, there's people who try to be realists in these situations, and, like, they try to go, like, well, why would you be friends with someone in this situation? You wouldn't trust anybody. And, like, I think I think the opposite when it comes to human nature. Like, I think that we're incredibly, like, trusting people for the most part. Um, especially, like, since, like, you know, if you, were, if you put me in this situation, the first thing I would try to do is latch on to someone and try to make them a friend so I could have, like, a support as well. You know, and that's just only natural. You want to be in groups. You want to be surrounded by people that you can trust. Not everybody likes being friends with people, but I'm saying that you always have, like to have that one person that can support you. Uh, so this idea that, like, you know, people will try to be like, it doesn't make any sense. Just be by yourself. It's like, that's just not in humans. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just not a human thing. Uh, murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of the history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Okay. He's just gonna do the morning Good time thing. Morning, I wonder if we still have another free time, or a bit of free time. We have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall. So, okay, we're not just, we're not doing any more free time. I think we're, we're heavy into the story now. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out, when I found out I was waiting there for me. Wait, what? Oh, boy. Oh, it's Ogami. Is this it? What happened to the others? Are they, aren't they coming? There are only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So, including me. Only four people. God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However, anyway, let us wait a little longer for the others. So we decided to wait in any case, in, in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited. Um. So it's eight o'clock. We've been waiting here in a full hour. Um, why haven't the others come? Because I mean, you and Celeste have never missed a day till now. And what I'm worried about is Fumi and Taka. They're more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego, but Monokuma gave us a motive. There's no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Yep. Monokuma's motive. It's the cash, the cashish. Ten million dollars! It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks. Ten million smackaroos. Yeah, and it's like you could probably wait to win the, the competition. But the thing is, eventually, like, eventually someone will probably pick you off. You know, especially if you're in like if you're in that mode of waiting. It's like totally wow, wow, wow. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Don't tell me something did something for money. If someone touched Ishimandu, I will freaking kill them. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood and hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything that can happen here, and you can't consider it strange, not really. Hey. We need to look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check out all the runes. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the, uh, the second floor. Okay. Okay, now I guess check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. What? I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well, then. Let's go. 
Anxiety was written across each of our faces and we went to our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. They're just gonna send me here. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. So let's check all the rooms. Um, I imagine that... I think Ichimaru left me a note in my room. He said I'll be back soon, just off being really adorable somewhere. Sorry, Ichimando. Ichimandu rolls off the the tongue more though. Anyone in here? There's a note. Oh, we already saw this note, right? Congrats on Gaia. We already saw this note. Whoa! So we just had to go into two two. She's supposed to be checking the third floor. Oh, so like it's like, oh my god, so like we just had to check two rooms. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please. Makoto, you know what's wrong? It's awful. The rec room door was open and when I looked inside I saw, I saw. What did you see? No, I better look at the other. Oh no, who's dead? I'm gonna go get them. Oh, one second. Oh no, I don't even want to check. I don't want to check who's not here. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room, what did she see in there? By this point, I was used to acting while thinking, so when I think I leapt into the rec room, the first thing I saw when I got to the rec room was... Whoa. Whoa. It was Celeste and she was hurt. That's actually... That's something I didn't expect at all. Makoto. What happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked by who? I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. Yeah, a strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it's some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with a hammer on the ground. A hammer? Oh my god, a hammer? What is this? Justice One a Hammer? It's some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. There's something written on the head. Justice Hammer One, yeah. That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer won. Makoto Celeste. Okay. I found Sakura. Celeste, what on earth happened? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. A strange man. Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. <sighs> but it all happened early this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I decided to take a little stroll on the first floor. I understand now that was a mistake. You don't even recognize this dude, though, so it's someone out, someone outside? That is why I first saw this, saw this strange man, and I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow him after him in secret. You should have come. Well, I guess you didn't want to lose him, but you should have come get us. As I followed, I saw him going to the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door. Which is when he noticed me, and... And that's when you were attacked. It happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime uh, ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock... Then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm glad you, you just weren't hurt too badly. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. You did? As for me... I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever to... Oh my god. I see. So you will to throw away all your pride. Indeed. It is a necessary skill for survival. Well, she's not she's not wrong. Like I would throw away my pride too, like if I had to survive. Like I I I'd never be that guy in the movie that's like, just kill me, dude. Just kill me. You know, I'd be like, no please, please. You know, because I, I like living. I like it a lot. Uh it's a necessary skill for yeah. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, something uh, this could become a serious problem. What do you mean by a serious problem? Well, there's some suspicious dude running around the place. Okay. When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Hifumi? What? Hifumi? Okay. After you attacked me, you dragged Hifumi away. You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything particular stand out about this strange guy? <laughs> did anything stand out well... Rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us. Indeed. This is Afumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... Actually. I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously, let's see it. Okay. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. Wait, what? 
With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. What are we about to see? What are we about to see? Oh! It's a freaking Transformer! RJ. RJ, right joint? There's no, there's no one here that has the name R. Is there? Wait, why is there? Oh, there's a star by Kyoko! Oh, it all makes sense now. Ryokuka, uh, Jogami. It makes sense. Get him, guys. What? Well, you definitely were right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged Ifumi okay. away and took his, took his... And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why we do, if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I, I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is no, there is much I don't understand, but... Hmm. The point is, someone dressed like that dragged Ifumi away. And it happened over an hour ago. Just a second. This is bad, we have to hurry. Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see... I have an idea in my mind of what could be happening, but I don't want to say, maybe I'll sound stupid. Uh, when they left the rec room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they headed toward the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then they must be down there, right? Hmm. The second floor, that's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um... You didn't have time? This is bad. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry, Kyoko's in danger. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed to the room and down to the second floor. Hey, you what? two. What's going on? What's all the fuss? Get out. This is, I'm sorry. This is not even about Tagami. I would be like, can't talk. We have to go get Kyoko. Shut up. What? what, what? Uh, double. Double true. I think some people were asking me, like, why I, like, I, like, like, uh, was against, uh, uh, Jill killing... Uh, Chihiro, but was like cheering uh, Jill on when I had the knowledge that she already killed a bunch of innocent men uh, before that. And my answer pretty much is this. Sometimes I just have fun with the game. Sometimes it's just fun. It doesn't, it's, it's like, yes, I try to treat them like the real characters, but also like, I like to have a bit of fun sometimes too. And I was just cheering her on because she was attacking Togami. And we're also best friends. We're best friends. What are you Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Get her, punch both of them. Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Fumi? No, no, sure. Then you're no use. Let's keep let's keep going then. I know this floor. We just got here ourselves. Uh, then you just got here yourselves. That's fine. Let's keep going. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. Oh, you came running from an uproar? You know what actually happened? Someone wasn't giving you attention for two minutes and you ran up here. We came. Or, yeah, you did. Best friends. Now you're just stalking. You're stalking her. Anyway, can you guys help us look for them? Yeah. Will you help us? Why? What happened? Just help us look for them. There's no time, we'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine, sounds like something interesting is going on. Okay. Hifumi, Kyoko, if you can hear us, me say something. Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Mm -hmm. Oh. Did you hear something? Mm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. The library, okay, let's go. That's, that's his lair. That's, that's, um, that's, uh, Takami's lair. We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. When we opened the door to the library. Oh, the blood on his head as well. You okay, bud? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It hurts. It hurts. We found Afumi seriously injured. Are you okay? Um, I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> it's super bad, though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? Calm down, Tagami. <laughs> that guy hit me. What guy? Robot mm -hmm. Justice, uh, what I decided to call him just now. What, what did you say? What are you talking about? Kyoko, uh, Togami, you should go outside and stand guard. I need to talk to some people. Mm -hmm. That guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you are referring to, this is uh, it, uh, this is, is not? What oh the my hell god. Am I looking at? What the hell, uh, what the hell am I looking at? This is one that attacks less than Ifumi. Isn't that right, Ifumi? Yeah, that's it. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. It can't be. Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. 
Do I talk to everyone now? Is that what I have to do? Or is there another hammer on the ground? I'm seriously happy Fumi's alive, but Robo Justice? Mm -hmm. This just keeps getting stranger. Excuse me there, Tagami. Sorry. <sighs> I'm glad to see he is still alive. Same. But that means the only one like is who's not here is Ishimaru. Or not accounted for, I suppose. It's a hammer just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room, but this one is Justice Hammer 2. Justice, yeah, what the... And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with a hammer. And he bonked me right in the head with it. Well, A hammer that big, I'm surprised you're still okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? It does. I've never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? Uh, protein does help. I, when I had surgery and they couldn't close the wound, and I had to—that's probably the disgusting to say—but they had to just leave it open for like two months. Uh, protein is what I have to drink. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty crazy. It's him. A robot of justice and now things are really starting to get exciting. You should be worried about this, because if this robot kills everyone, the game's over. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? <laughs> what? Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let's not concern ourselves with him. Yes, yeah, Celeste, smartest girl in the game. What do you need to do now? Yeah, smartest characters. It goes Kyoko, Celeste. Um who's after Kyoko, Celeste. Um, Hina, Ogami, Ishimaru, um, then Hifumi, uh, Hagare, uh, and then, uh, Genocide Jill, and then Tagami. Get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah. You're right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everyone. We moved to Fami to- who, who Fami? Hufami sounds like a um, character from an old Disney movie. Go talk to Hufami on the hill. To the nurse's office on the first floor so we can take care of his injuries. Hmm. How are you feeling, Hufami? Want me to take a look at you? Um, I'm okay. I think it stopped bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. So then. Perhaps you should rest here a while. I suppose. Yeah, good idea. Well, then. The rest of us should go back to looking for the mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. Indeed, before another victim appears. The Justice Hammer seems to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. So in other words... If there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it's even bigger than the first two. That was incredibly smart. Tagami, well done. <laughs> if you got hit by anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. You would be for sure. Tell us what happened to you, Afumi. Um, well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor, and that's where this strange costume man attacked me. Hmm. That must be what I witnessed around 7 this morning. Well. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack, down came the hammer. That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Mm. At around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us, so we all have alibis. I was in the laundry room, doing my laundry. Yes. His black underwear is black as pitch black, darkness is the blackest night. He still deserves privacy though, like, so let's not talk about his underwear. What? How, why do you know that? <laughs> it's not obvious because I was peeking, yeah, like, he still deserves to have his own privacy, like, we don't need to learn about his underwear, like, that's a little bit of a, like, a uh, little bit mean. Anyway, by the way, just, that's actually a good style of underwear, like, if that makes you feel any better, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so that means, uh, Bajuku and Toko were together at the, at the time, meaning they also have alibis. Can you count? Can you count Genocide Jill as an alibi? Like, and can you, Togami who has openly lied to us before as well, can we count either of these two as an alibi? Like, no, we can't. The only ones that don't have alibis for when Celeste and Fumi or attacked are, the only two we haven't seen are Hiro and Taka. Very strange. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um, oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I suspected. <laughs> Hold on! Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked, so... Hmm. I'm not talking about who attacked them. 
Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, say it then. Say it. Say it then. Say it again, Bogugu. In other words. I'm referring to what we talked about last night. The mastermind spy, who the mastermind spy might be. That's you. Actually, no, you're not a mastermind, so I, I, I'm sorry. I'll take that back. Arsene and Kyoko's working with the mastermind? That's not possible. What? Isn't it? This woman who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies hasn't re even revealed her true identity. Hey. Save the discussion for later. Now we uh, right now we have to we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Yes, very smart, Ogami. Okay. If we don't hurry, there's only gonna be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um, don't worry about me, I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. What is happening though? Like like this it's a freaking like Gundam Transformer running about the place. <laughs> but why would they attack Ifumi? And then Celeste. I, I know, I say Celeste is just by chance. I wonder. Well then. Okay, let's go. I wonder. <sighs> so whoever that is running around, why are they uh, wearing that weird costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for a reason from a deviant. I never do look r for a reason do? from you. What are we going to do, split up and look around? <laughs> Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moved around the top of the stairs. That's horrifying. Really? Oh. Up to the second floor, then? You bastard, you will get away from me. I feel so much safer with Agami with me. We all shot towards the stairs. Okay. He must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. But don't take any chance. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Ooh. I don't think this is a good idea. We shouldn't be like, 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 I don't think I'd be able to corner him. Like, Ogami, maybe. Like, what should, what should we yell? Just a second. Anything, it doesn't matter. So then. Then, ha. What okay. No, say? anything. Ha, or do you, or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough to you guys so I can hear you. This is why Hina's one of the smartest. <laughs> do ya? I never heard such a reaction. Yeah, I agree. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna give you, uh, gonna decommission you. We spread out, uh, it's spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. Okay. Hello, Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot, where are you? Are you in this classroom? Check your first. Nobody's in here, Mr. Robot. What the hell is happening? If you touch these. <laughs> That strange cry. That had to be Celeste. It came from the floor above us. She's on the third floor. I sprinted up to the third. Oh, is she gonna go missing too? Everyone. Over here, everyone. Everyone who heard the scream had come Just running. Celeste, what's wrong? What? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. <laughs> I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He must be down the hall. Come on, let's go. <laughs> was that a little bit of fear from Genocide Jill? What is it now? <laughs> Is it's really true. But that doesn't matter right now, Yellow Villa. Hina is like so jumping into action here, just like, hey, look, it doesn't matter, guys. Let's just keep freaking going. Huh? What was that? It must have been Hifumi. He's in the nurse's office. What? This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. What? But what about who's on this floor? What about the suspect? We've gone all to, to all this trouble to capture him, right? Mm. Then why don't we split up into two it's groups? All clear now. I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. Yeah, you can do that. So Very well, Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to Togo Sakura and Biyokuyakaka. So then. I almost said his actual name. <laughs> uh, we'll handle it. Just go take care of Afubi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split up into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all run downstairs to the first floor. Just a second. He's in the nurse's office. Let's go. I'm just saying this right now, Hina. No one will ever make fun of the proportions of your hair ever again. You've been so good this episode. Well done. We stormed into the nurse's office and what greeted us was a world of di dripping crimson. What? No, Fumi? Everything was covered in red. And in the center of all this red was... Hifumi. No! 
Oh my lord. This is probably one of the most intense finding of a, of a body in this game. Probably the most intense one so far, because we've just been running around the place and like... We thought he'd be safe here. What? What? It looks like something very bad has happened. I certainly was not expecting this. I didn't imagine that Ifumi would be murdered. No way! Murdered? You're not serious, are you? He's he's not really dead, is he? Ding dong, ding dong. Oh, ding dong, ding dong. What is like the? No, the the Fumi, the Fumi's body dead. Has been yeah. Okay. Again, it's the rule. I forgot this. I forgot that it's a rule that if like I think of like what three people find the body, you have to announce it then. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. <laughs> That was the body discovery announcement, yes. The body discovery announcement. When three or more people discover a body after murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... It must mean Ifumi. Someone killed him, one of us. It's... I did not expect Ifumi to be the one that dies next. Uh, because I thought that, like... Again, I was going by the rules of, like... Like, story writing. I thought that they would keep Ifumi alive as some sort of, like, comic relief. Because it's clear that the game found him very funny. Uh, I didn't find him very funny. But, like, the game found him to be a very funny character. Uh, the way they were, like, making him do one-liners every single sentence. Um, this is horrible, though. Like, as much like as, like, you know, I would get annoyed by him, like, he didn't deserve to get freaking hammered in the head. One of us? And look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. It's the hammer! Justice hammer is it two or three if it's two then we know it's not one of the robos another hammer It's three so it could have been one of the robo guys And that's my theory by the way. I wanted to say this but I didn't want to sound stupid There must be multiple of, of these guys of these robo justice people. I could be completely wrong Because we saw one upstairs We ran after one on the second floor and the third floor I believe now, it's possible that you could double down and maybe run down the other side, but I don't think- I think it's- I think it's- I think there's only one way to get down to the third floor, right? Now, unless I'm completely wrong. It's either that, or someone found this hammer and whacked him on the head. That's the two options I have here. But then, like, if there's three of those robo-things, who could- like, I don't think Ichimaru could be controlling them. I don't think, uh, H Hiro could be controlling them either. The only, like, my, 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 my official suspect, oh, just by bullcrap alone would have been Chihiro because of the, the hacking stuff. But, like, again, I don't have, I don't have anything on that besides that. But that's my theory right now. I could be wrong. <laughs> just as I suspected, one strike from that and you are finished. Then the killer... Uh, there can be no doubt the suspicious individual is going by what Ifumi called him. The cover was Robo Justice. Whoever's hiding in that costume is one that, uh, killed Ifumi. But wait, you saw him on the third floor right, running back into the hall? So how did they end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying they like teleported us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's Are what I'm saying. Okay with this? We can figure that part out later. Right now, we can. We have to tell the others. You're right. So then. then shall we go? <sighs> Hina, snap out of it. Huh? Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. Sorry, I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm feeling kind of... Hmm. This is the pro a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Yes, we can. Not right now. Everyone needs to be together, like, officially, like, right now. Everyone needs to be together. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. <sighs> Very well. I'll leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but I still hadn't stopped trembling for what I'd just been, been through. Everyone else is on the third floor. I have to hurry. So why, I wonder what they found on the third floor then. Um, We're going to end the video here. But, this I think was one of the most craziest, like, the, one of the most crazy episodes that we had so far. And I think just basically because of everything that's happened once, and uh, going, like, at the, like, it, everything's going, like, crazy at the same time. It's insane. Um. I honestly, like, don't, like, I don't have a clue with, like, who could be exactly behind this. I don't think it's Ishimaru, even though he's not, he's not here. Ishimondo, sorry. Um, but, like, I guess, like, we're gonna find out. There's no point, like, speculating too much, because then, like, <laughs> you know, we're only gonna be, like, officially, like, and horribly wrong. That's what's gonna happen, and we know that's what's gonna happen. Uh, yeah. 
I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.